Anyone can investigate, but the I-Team cares enough to make Jacksonville a better place to live. The News for Jack's I-Team getting results for a Navy veteran who complained to us that he feels his calls to the Jacksonville city government were ignored. Jack Barry says a city drainage ditch has been eroding his Arlington property, so much so he's afraid his young granddaughter could get hurt. On top of that, he was worried that a dead tree standing in the ditch could fall on his home during a hurricane. Investigator Jennifer Walsh shows us what happened after the I-Team contacted the city for answers. This is Jack Barry's worry. Erosion has slowly eaten away his backyard, causing these kinds of gaps in the fence that separate his yard from the city's drainage ditch. He's worried that his three-year-old granddaughter could fall through, and he has not been happy with the response that he has received when he's reported it to the city. Nothing. Nobody showed up, nobody's called, no emails, nothing. Jack Barry is frustrated. He says he and his neighbors have called the city for years, complaining about the city ditch that runs behind their homes in his Arlington neighborhood. Look right there. Straight down. He says when he first moved here, this ditch was only about nine feet wide. Now look at it. It needs to be taken care of. Maintenance, build it up, build the sides up so you can get a mower in there and get it cleaned up on a regular basis. Well, I pay my taxes. Everybody else up and down this ditch pays taxes, and it should be done on a regular basis to maintain it. Along the ditch line is also this dead tree. And it could come right there on the house. When he tracked the status of his call to 630 City, which he made in July, he was furious to learn the city estimated it would take at least five months till December to remove it. I want it out during hurricane season. They say completion time will be December 20th of this year. We contacted the city to get some answers. Within a week, workers showed up at Jack Barry's home and removed the dead tree limb by limb, bringing some relief to this disabled military veteran and grandfather. The day after the I-Team contacted the city, someone from the drainage department, according to Jack, did come out here to assess this problem and told him that first, they'd have to clean this area out to get a better idea about how to stop the erosion but it doesn't sound like it's going to be an easy fix, but at least it's now on the city's radar. We'll keep you posted. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station. The city has recently launched its new upgraded online portal designed to make it easier for people to file and track the progress of complaints they make and services they request. It is called MyJax and is designed, is based on your feedback to, more, to be more user friendly and provide residents with more information. You can find it by searching 630-630-CITY online, as you may have done in the past, or go to the direct website, myjax.custhelp.com. We have a direct link to this inside our story on news4jax.com. And if you see something that needs investigating, take a video or a picture and text it to us to 479-NEWS or email it to iteam at news4jax.com.